Welcome fellow gamers, my name is The Mountain and in today's video I'm going to talk about the new update 2.2.3 that recently came out in Battlebit Remaster. We had a major update 2.2.2 a couple of weeks ago and we already are receiving a new update that brought 26 new gameplay features and 15 bug fixes. But from all the changes there are 3 major changes that will change and massively impact again this game in a good way and I will explain why. It's amazing to see that the devs keep pouring new updates at this fast and furious pace and that with each new update an important problematic feature is resolved or at least addressed in some positive way and obviously is also the case for this new update 2.2.3 so I have analyzed the content of this new update and after giving it a good mix adding some sugar let it rest in the fridge for a couple of hours and put in the oven at 180 degrees for a couple of hours I have baked this video especially for you and I hope that you enjoy it First, let's talk about the 15 bug fixes. So, first, apparently the game was crashing when a player was on spectator mode. To be sincere, I was not aware that this problem exists, but that problem is fixed now. 2. Slight stutters, those annoying crawling bugs, were introduced in the last update, but this problem was fixed in this new update. 3. The server-side performance and movement issues have been improved. Nice. 4. There was a bug preventing players from being killed while using the Umvee's turret has been fixed as well. That was an annoying one for sure. 5. The MDX, that is the recon gadget used as the sniper decoy, was fixed because the glint appeared through the foliage and obstacles like the sniper glint before the last update. 6. The attachment barrel size has been readjusted. Nice. 7. The issue with the trees not being destroyed and causing server errors was also fixed. 8. The solid colors were moved to the bottom in pattern 1 and they also have been renamed to avoid confusion. 9. The inability to place esco walls on the roofs has been fixed. This bug probably appeared after the last update rework on the esco walls on inclined terrain. 10. The positional hit markers have been also fixed. 11. The inconsistency in pinging players has been addressed. 12. The issue of inconsistent mouse sensibility on the radial menu, in particular at resolutions other than 1920x1080, has been fixed. 13. Now players are no longer able to ping through bushes. 14. Network stability has been improved. That is something really important in online games. 15. The backend bug that was related to players having more than 100 items in their inventory was fixed. So these were all the 15 bugs fixes in this update, so let's advance to the new 26 gameplay features. 1. Destitue and Tensatown 32 vs 32 Invasion has been added. 2. Isle Invasion, a vehicle repair station, has been added to the ground objective. 3. Invasion Kodia, one objective at the last stage near the defender base, has been removed. 4. Invasion 32 vs 32 has been added to Kodiak map. 5. Dramatic aberration on the loadout screen has been reduced. 6. Film grain settings have been added to the video settings, allowing you to adjust this setting at your will. 7. Squat points are now displayed on the interaction menu, allowing you to know how many points the team have. Don't forget, they are share points. 8. Camo previews are now available when hovering over the camos. No need to select the camo that you want to see. Nice improvement of life. 9. The ability to change the size of the enemy pings is now available. I wish I had the same ability. 10. The ping button function remains the same. Holding it now opens the menu. 11. The maximum number of pings at a time has been increased from 3 to 6 per squad. 
and probably 6 is still not enough since a squad can have 8 players. Yes, probably all 8 players will not have the need to use the ping at the same time, but let's see in the future what happens. 12. The air drone spotting of players is now possible. Spot now lasts 12 seconds, something that should have been from the start, because military drones were also conceived for that purpose. 13. The radial menu flags have been sorted. 14. Players can now ping enemies while down, with pings lasting for 2 seconds. 15. The sound spread of all snipers have been increased to 2000 meters. 16. Sniper rifles now leave a bullet trail that lasts for 3 seconds. I'm not sure if this addition will work since snipers already have the glint on the long range scopes, and adding an extra mechanic to spot snipers maybe will make the recon class less appealing. Let's see in the future what will happen. 17. The sound of a sniper bullet whizzing past is now different from other weapons. And this change for me makes all the sense and eventually should be incremented to all weapons. Players should have the ability to know what type of gun is shooting them without looking to give players the necessary information to react accordingly. 18. The glint angle of the sniper's long range scopes has been heavily reduced. I would prefer to augment the glint on the long range scopes that have created the trail of smoke on the bullet. I understand that the devs are trying to make long range scope more appealing by reducing the angle glint and instead giving the bullet trail, but at the price of maybe turning mid and close range less appealing. And again, let's see in the future how it will work. 19. Smoke density has been updated, obstructing outside views from within. This change was needed. It was frustrating using the smoke to create cover and be killed through the smoke anyway. Nice improvement indeed. 20. The animation for proning crouching transitions have been adjusted. 21. Grenades now trigger in combat status or player spawning, also a nice addition that makes sense. 22. The Basra map has been reworked. 23. In the invasion game mode, flags are now created from 4 stages, with 3 locked after capture. 24. Footstep sounds have been made more directional. Now this change, if working correctly, is the type of improvement that this game really needs. Like I said so many times, sound on all FPS online games is one of the most important game features that allows players to know where the enemy is or coming from. 25. Enemy footstep sounds are now louder and sharper than ally footsteps. That allows players to know and differentiate the enemy footsteps from allies. 26. Ally player's footsteps are no longer audible beyond 20 meters. All these three last game features have the potential to change the game in a better way, creating a more just and competitive game than before. The same way that the bandaging system improved the fluidity and engagement time on the last update creating a more appealing game for gamers, this new update brought a lot of changes and quality of life improvements, but the changes made in the sound department by far is the most important of them all, and with the most impact in-game itself. My only concern is how the sound will propagate on the map since that the buildings can be destroyed and you can have small holes in the wall, windows, doors, etc. where the sound can go through, but the future will tell. And with this final thought, I hope that you have enjoyed this video, and if so, please smash that like or dislike button that helps other players have access to this video. And if you don't want to miss future content, please consider to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all on the next video, but until then, have a nice day, good gaming, Dune Mountain out.